Uh, g'day traders, uh, looking at Bitcoin and giving an update and pointing out some key levels. Um, it does look like an, a boring wedge and it does look bearish at the moment and I'm just trying to give it a bullish perspective. But uh, I'm not that hopeful. Uh, I do believe that we, we're likely to break down. Um, a few key levels have been broken um, and I'll just go through that at the moment. So let's have a look. So looking at this, prior to this, uh, let's just get rid of this for the time being. That's our key level, which is about 55, I'm sorry, 50, 50K right there. That, that, that level is pretty obvious. And we've got this slightly over performance. So that is our main resistance there. And and then we've got, I suppose, on the way back up, more more of a uh, clarity and resistance, which is like 49,300. But we had this boiling wedge. We have found a breakout and and a, and, a, and a strong resistance, and now we're pushing back down. If I was to do my Elliott um, wave count from a bearish perspective, um, this, this does fit. We've got the, well, that's the wrong, wrong one. Give me a sec. So I, I like the A, B, C, D type of thing. So we've got A, we've got B, C, D, E, and it really fits um, to a, a breakdown. And a lot of things are pointing to the breakdown at the moment. And uh, even though the on-chain data says that there is uh, a likelihood, likelihood that this will go up, um, at the moment it doesn't. <coughs> It might be just something that um, is short term, and yeah, I think so. So, if this was to break down, I see it come down to this level here um, 42k to 44, somewhere around there. Uh, and uh, that's that's what I got down here. Why, why, why so? Uh, that's because um, this structure started from this root here. So, B, B is a target at this point. So that will be the target there. Uh, so that's about 44, close to 44. But it might overwick, overperform, and just come down a bit down to 42 in the mid 42s. So that's what I had to see if this was a breakdown. Um, is it likely to break down? Well, I have a, a chart here that says that um, we've got a lot of support in terms of, uh, let me change that color. From here, we've got a, a resistance, we've got support, support, support. So it's likely to have find support there as well. Um, now the question is, uh, this is a broadening, this could be a broadening pattern as well. So we have and then a break up to the upside. So there's a lot of stuff happening here, which is very confusing. But I do see support coming here because we have support there and support there. Now, if we break this, it's going to plummet. It's going to go down hard and definitely go down quick. So my extra strategy will be based on looking at this. Now let's have a closer look in terms of um, this area here on the small time frame. I'm just going to do the um, pip extension. So from a swing high to swing low, swing high. Let's see what we got. You can see that we, we've hit one and we found pretty much support at the moment. Just to be really accurate there, that's pretty much it there. So um, push that up a bit to the wick and one is right on the tip, perfect. So it's, it's, it's doing that, but you, as you know, one is a minimum. It can go all the way to a 6.3. So let's have a look at from a bigger picture what that looks like. If we zoom out. So this, if it goes to the 613, oh, sorry, the 1.618, um, that, that, that does break that, that structure. It might weak, but uh, I do see it falling much harder if this was to break this level. So uh, I'll be start to, uh, if, if it breaks this level here, which is about 46,600, um, if it starts breaking that, I, I, I'm, I'm definitely going to sell some, looking to buy some 
short buy some over here, some extra bitcoins or whatever the case may be. But I do see that potentially happening. At the moment, I'm hopeful. Hopeful is not probably a good word to use. That um, this could break, go, recover. But those, those, so this looks like a three pattern move. One, two, three, and it might bounce a bit more. Now, now we're going to see a bit of a resistance here as well. So it's it's ugly, it's messy, and I think we're going to lose that. So that that's going to be a, a resistance level as well. Now that we drop below it, um, and then we've got this resistance here. So that's that's not good either. Yeah, so that's resistance. Even if we go there, we're going to get a knockback down. So um, maybe it's a time to short, look for shorting. Uh, it's very difficult, um, but that's what I have. All these key levels to watch. At the moment, I do expect a little bounce, but I do see this area as a, as a resistance level and potentially going down to the 40, this range, 42 to 44, 45. And you can see, uh, actually, this is a perfect one right there. The 2.618 2 level, which is about 43K, 43 and a half. That might be a nice, perfect spot to enter. Obviously, this any of these could be, any of these could be the range. Um, so that, what have I got? 44, yep. So here we go. Just by doing the fibic, um, rever, uh, fib extension on the downside, that's possible. Let's do one more. Let's see, one more uh, from the top to the bottom to the top and that value again. So, yeah, perfect. So, yeah, th this is this is making sense that this is the target and it, it fits into the uh, so that is the best scenario if we lose this level. I would I would say that. I don't want to see go below the structure because that structure up this point has been support. So anything below the, uh, 46 is down to 43, 42. All right then, um, please uh, give, give me some comments, what you think. Give me a like and, and share and uh, much appreciate. Cheers.